Hi, uh, this is actually part two of our mitten video because we have a very busy fabric store and we've been trying for about an hour to do a tutorial and it keeps getting interrupted. So we just decided to, when somebody walks in, we'll stop the video and then when they've left, we'll start again. So part two of our mitten video and we, where we left off was I was going to talk about what you need for the outside of your mittens. So um, if you need something to be very, very waterproof, um, really, you want Neo Shell. Neo Shell is made by Polar Tech. It is twice as waterproof and breathable as Gore Tex. Um, and that's because it has a membrane in it. The membrane is waterproof. Um, how it works for breathability in a jacket is that the molecule of the membrane is bigger than sweat. So basically, sweat can escape, but smaller than a water molecule, so water doesn't come into it. Um, this is a fantastic fabric, um, highly recommended if you're making a jacket and you could make leftovers into mitts. Uh, we, um, it's just one of the best shell fabrics uh, that I've ever seen and I have several Neo Shell jackets. Neo Shell comes in many, many styles. This whole section is all Neo Shell and some of it has stretch and some of it doesn't. Um, you don't need stretch for mittens, but if you had a little stretch, it wouldn't matter. Um, so. What I would do if I were making myself a pair of mittens is I would have an option of making um, a Neo Shell outer, an Alpha Direct in, inner, and then basically that's it. It would just be two, because Alpha Direct can go against your skin, and that would be warm enough for me here on the West Coast because we don't get super cold. If you did get super cold, then of course you could either double up your Alpha or get power fill and then you would want a, a liner that was perhaps fleece or something on the inside of that. So I'm going to show you um, another couple of options for the outer and soft shell is always a really good choice. This whole section here is mainly Polar Tech Power Shield and again it comes in it's dozens and dozens of styles. Anything from very thin weight that you would use for just a summer or a spring jacket to something that you would use for fall and then some of them actually have high loft on them so you can basically have that loft we talked about for warmth um, and then you could still continue to insulate and or line those fabrics. So I'm going to show you a soft shell. This is Polar Tech Power Shield and you can see that it's got a really nice um, fleecy inside. And this is an example here of mittens that we made today using Polar Tech Soft Shell, similar to this, and Alpha Direct. So it's just basically a two layer glove. This is the Menta glove that they just came out with. And uh, although they have only done the children's version so far, this is the size 14, which is the largest of the children's. And it would actually fit an adult with small hands. I've got big hands, so it's a little bit tight on me and here is an example of a mitten we made this one I think is a size 2 3 child and we used high vent which is this fabric right here and this is highly highly water repellent and then we used power fill for the inside of this and then we lined it with a 200 weight fleece so this is a nice warm mitten for a child. It's basically three layers. So it's water repellent on the outside, high vent. And then the inside, again, over here, the power fill, and then the fleece. It's really hard to do a video showing you all of the combinations because literally you can do anything you want. You can use a, a soft shell and use two layers of fleece. You could use a soft shell and just have one layer of fleece. You can use a hard shell like Neo Shell or High Vent and do any of the above. Use scraps that you've got. Um, one trick that I just wanted to share with you is that if you are, the Menta pattern is actually for two layers. So if you're using three layers, what I like to do is to take my first layer, which is basically my liner, and you can buy a temporary adhesive spray. I think it's called 505 or something. And I like to spray the fleece with that and then take the power fill piece 
lay it on top and it's basically glued together temporarily and then put my pattern piece on top of that and cut it out and you're really only then dealing with two pieces you can treat that insulation and the liner like one uh, we didn't do that when we made these mitts actually um, one of the gals that works for me made these and she cut out the high vent she cut out the power air not power, power fail sorry and she actually sewed that together then she so then it was one piece and then she created the liner and followed the directions for the mitten i believe uh, menta is putting out the adult version of the mitten very soon so we're kind of excited about that so all in all the bottom line is that you can use many many different fabrics uh, in fact i even have Polar Tech Power Grid here. Power Grid is a base layer that is wicking. Um, the grid normally goes against your skin, but I mean, that would just be a great liner for a Neo Shell glove. So if you wanted it to be waterproof on the outside and then insulate it with, you know, any of those things and then have Power Grid that's wicking and comfortable on the inside, that's a great choice too. So there's just so many combinations, it's really hard to decide. Another thing that you can do if you have a child um, that even for s small children that you know they may fall down in the snow or the ice and then they try to get themselves up and the, the gloves will slip on it, you can add a little strip of tough tech or something grippy. Um, this is just an example of one of the tough techs that we have and all you'd have to do is cut just a little strip and sew it to this piece of fabric before you put the mitten together and then you would have that gripping ability for it as well um, also good if you're making yourself mitts for biking or whatever just so you've got really good grip and the only last thing i wanted to talk about was we have had a request by many people to make mitten packs now we love to make packs uh, as you know we make yoga packs and ribbing packs and power mesh packs and and uh tank and tea packs, many. You just have to search for pack on our website, discoveryfabrics.com, and you'll see all the various packs that we offer. But the problem with doing a pack is that we have to mass cut them, and we can only use fabrics that we have a lot of because we, um, and we can't do a lot of variety. So we will try to pick a fabric such as um, Alpha, and perhaps uh, one of the soft shells that we, you know, have a roll of. Maybe, you know, this is just an example of a beautiful soft shell. And then one of the um, 200 weight fleeces. So we are going to be putting together a mitt pack. And it's just going to be whatever we happen to have that's going to give you three layers, warm mittens. It will be a minimum 16 inch cuts of all three fabrics so that you can make at least, um, well, if you're making smaller mittens, probably two full pairs of smaller mittens. If you're making the largest mitten, uh, probably you're going to get one pair with leftover and if you wanted to get two pairs or even three pairs you could order two packs to get three pairs that's probably how that would work uh, we haven't got that on the website today but it will be on by the end of the week and we are going to price our mitten packs at just twenty dollars um, and that is probably a value of thirty at least so we're gonna do that, and I don't know how long we'll be able to do that. It depends on you know how our fabric supply is. But basically, it's just so that you get an idea of how to construct a mitten. Obviously, if you get some alpha in it and you don't use it all in the mittens that you're making, you can sure use it in boots or other things that you're doing. Um, and then we have a really great variety of colors um, for soft shells and shells and uh, insulations. Um, so you can get what you want later once you've really got that practice down. So that's all for today. Thanks for listening in and we'll see you next time. Bye.